Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joshua McDonald and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2024 Cadillac Escalade Sport Platinum. Now before we get started with the video, make sure you guys leave a like on this video, subscribe down below for more car content. Also, if you guys want the best deal on any new or used vehicle, click the links in the description or in the pinned comment and fill out that form. But let's jump right into the video. All right, underneath the hood, we're going to have a 6.2 liter V8. This is going to give you 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. So let's go ahead and start her up and see how she sounds. Up front on the Escalade Sport Platinum, we're going to have our blacked out grille. We're going to have our blacked out Cadillac logo with the silver surrounds. We're also going to have a black lip up here with the body colored accents up front. You also do have your holes in the bumper for your parking sensors. And we also do have our LED headlights. So if I hit unlock on the key, you can see your turn signals down towards the bottom. And you can also see those lights cut on as well. But that's it for the front end. Let's take a look at the side. So on the side of the Cadillac Escalade, we have our fuel fill up door here on the back. This only takes premium fuel for that 6.2 liter V8. We also have the capless gas fill system, so no need to unscrew or screw in a gas cap. Also, moving down to the wheels, these are wrapped in Bridgestone tires. These are 275 5022s. So absolutely beautiful black wheels with the silver Cadillac logo in the middle. We also do have our black wheel locks as well. But moving up to the front, we do have illuminated door handles. And the way you open up the doors, there's a button right behind here that you push up on, and they'll open right up for you. You'll also notice that the running boards come out automatically, and when you close the door, they'll close right back up for you. Moving to the door, we have this Cadillac crest right here. If we put our finger on that, we can lock or unlock the vehicle with the key in our pocket. Also in the mirrors right here, we do have a camera for our 360 cameras, and we do have this little car right here in the middle. That will light up orange if something's in your blind spot. But we also have the same size wheels as we do up here. So let's take a look at the back seats. So back here in the third row, I have pretty good leg room for a third row vehicle. Um, I'm about six foot tall on a good day. It's very comfortable back here. We have great leather seating surfaces with the perforated leather on each side. I also do have a cup holder and storage right next to me as well as a USB-C. I also do have this button in front of me, so if I push on that, it'll hold down the seat in front of me so I can get out easily. But that's it for the third row. Let's take a look at the cargo room. So for the back of the Cadillac Escalade, we do have a button underneath here. If we push on that button, it'll open up this rear glass window so we can get in and out very easily, put stuff inside, outside, however we need to. We also do have our rear windshield wiper right here as well. We'll go ahead and close that back up. Also, if we press on this Cadillac crest, it'll open up the tailgate, fully powered up and down. Taking a look inside, this is how much cargo room we have with the third row up. We can also lower the third row with these buttons right here. So this left one will lower the left side, and the right one will lower the right side. We can also flip up the second row by tapping on this button twice on both sides. And we can also tap on them again to flip up the seats just like that. So that's what it looks like with it all the way down. So plenty of cargo room back here. If we move these up, we also do have additional storage underneath here. But we'll go ahead and close that up. We can push this button right here to close it. Back here we do have two black exhaust tips. Right next to that we have this cover right here that's removable to reveal your tow hitch. This vehicle will tow up to 8,000 pounds. We also do have the circles in the bumper for our ultrasonic sensors. So if you get close to something, the infotainment screen will beep and let you know to back up. We also do have our taillights that extend all the way up to the roof. Absolutely beautiful design for Cadillac. If I go ahead and unlock the key, you can see the design there. But that's it for the back. Let's take a look at the captain seat. All right, so back here in the second row, we do have our adjustable seat that we can move forwards and backwards. We can also recline and decline the seat as well. We also do have our storage behind the driver and passenger seat, as you can see right here. But absolutely beautiful seating surfaces right here in the second row. We also do have our armchairs right here. We also do have a screen on both sides. So as you can see, we have these screens where you, where you can watch Hulu, YouTube, YouTube Kids. We also do have HDMI ports down here. So we can plug in an Amazon Fire Stick, Roku Stick, or even an Xbox. We also do have a three prong right next to it. This extends out to reveal your cup holders. And we do have heated seats back here as well. 
You can also see we do have the moonroof above our heads. We have our own AC vent on each side and a light right here. This one has the AKG audio system, so you do have your microphones right above you. But that's it for the second row. Let's take a look at the front. So up front in the Cadillac Escalade Sport Platinum, we have our seats right here that are fully adjustable. So we can move them forwards, backwards, we can lower them, raise them. We can also recline or decline the seats. You also do have full power lumbar and we do have massaging seats as well. So if I press up on this lever right here, up in the infotainment screen, you can see we have a few different adjustments. So inside of here, we can adjust our top portion, bottom portion, also the sides. But if you move all the way up, you do have your massage that you can have roll, knead, wave, relief, glide, and you also do have three different power modes. So you can go all the way down to one or all the way up to three. But super cool feature inside the seats. Let's go ahead and close the door up. In the door, we have our cooled seats, heated seats. We also do have our unlock and lock button as well. We do have our power fold in mirrors, as you can see there. And we can adjust our left or right mirror. We have automatic windows all the way around. We have our memory seats with two different adjustments and an exit setting. We have storage on the top and storage on the bottom as well. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have all of our four wheel drive controls. We also do have different drive modes. So as you can see, we have sport, off-road, tow haul, my mode, and tour. We can also lower or raise the vehicle with the air suspension. So we have normal ground clearance, entry and exit, and we can go all the way up to increased ground clearance or maximum ground clearance. We have an electronic parking brake. We also do have our trailer brake adjuster that we could turn up or down. We have an AC vent to the left of the steering wheel, two right here in the middle and one for the passenger side. To the left, we have all of our different adjustments to see our trip odometer, as you can see there. We can also change our gauge cluster up here so we can have the traditional gauge cluster. We can have our Google Maps displayed right here in the middle and we do have our augmented reality camera that allows you to see in front of you. Also, we do have our heads up display that's displayed right there in the middle. We can move that up or down and we can also turn up or down the brightness as well. Moving to the steering wheel, we have super cruise on this vehicle. So this camera right here will look at you and make sure that you're made attentive while it's driving itself. Our super cruise button is located right here to activate it. We also do have a heated steering wheel, forward collision and all of our cruise control buttons right there. We have hands-free voice commands we have our super cruise button and we do have paddles behind the steering wheel as well so we can downshift or upshift we can scroll up and down through our menu right there we have our audio phone and we can turn up or down our volume you also do have a mute button on the steering wheel as well we have our start button right here behind the steering wheel and moving to the middle we have our auto hold automatic stop start and our lane keep assist we have our shifter right here that if we press this button right here on the side where my thumb's at, we can move it all the way up for reverse. So as you can see right here, we have our normal view. We have a wide view, overhead view, and a side view. We also do have this cool camera system where we can see all the way around the vehicle, as you can see right there. And we do have a tow hitch view as well. But super cool camera system. Let's go ahead and move it all the way down for drive. We can pull down again for L mode, and we can push for park. Now, if you want to go in neutral, you just push it up a little bit and it'll put it in neutral. We have our volume adjustment right here in the center with our mute and unmute. We have our music, phone, vehicle information, navigation, and we do have this dial right here that'll scroll to the left or right and we can hit enter. We have our back button, home button, hazards, and a phone holder right here in the middle. You have a USB-C and a USB with a storage pocket right here and two cup holders right here in the middle. You can also cover all this up or open it back up. We have our center console right here with plenty of storage space and a couple of USBs inside of there. Here's our glove box with plenty of storage space. Moving to the middle, we have all of our AC controls so you can turn it off or on. You can also adjust your fan speed and we do have dual zone climate so the passenger side can be different from the driver's side. In the touch screen here, we have our trailering app, apps, OnStar services. We can control our rear media that I showed you back there. We also do have ambient lighting so during the night, you can change all of your lights right here to whatever color you want. You can also link it to the drive mode as well and adjust the brightness. We have our cameras, automatic park assist, Sirius XM, my Cadillac, and a video recorder. 
Moving to the left, we have our audio, which is gonna have your AM, FM, Sirius XM radio. We have our navigation system, phones, vehicle information, where you can see your oil change life, oil pressure, trailer brake, coolant temperature, everything you need to know inside the vehicle. You can also have different users, Wi-Fi hotspot, or settings. This also does come with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and if we swipe to the left, we have our main screen where we can see everything in one place. But we have our rear view camera mirror right here with a few different adjustments. You can turn the brightness up or down. You can zoom in or out, and you can also move it down or up. Moving up, we have a full suede headliner, as you can see there. We do have a makeup mirror for the driver and passenger side, as you can see there. We also do have our sunroof that we can open up, just like that. And if you wanna close it, you just press on the opposite side of the button, and you can close it up just like that. We also do have a moonroof cover that we can close or open. And we also do have a tilt adjustment for the sunroof. So if you press on this button right here, it'll tilt it up or you can tilt it back down. We also do have tailgate controls up here where we can have it open all the way up, three fourths of the way or off completely. If you press this button right here, it'll open up the tailgate and you can press it again to close it. You also do have different light controls. You can raise or lower the third row with these buttons right here. You have three different garage door openers and a motion sensor. But guys, that's pretty much it for the inside of the Cadillac Escalade Sport Platinum. Let's take one last look at the outside and take a look at the window stick. But make sure you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below about the Cadillac Escalade Sport Platinum. I think the white with the black is absolutely the best way to do it. You have your black grille, black wheels, black window surrounds, gives it a very nice appearance. Also the air suspension in this vehicle is very cool as well as it lowers and raises automatically and it's very comfortable to ride in. But let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker. So like I said before, this is the 2024 Escalade 4 wheel drive sport platinum. It's a crystal white tri-coat with the jet black interior. This one has the 6.2 liter V8 with the 10 speed automatic transmission. Base price of this vehicle is 113,695. This one has all of these packages on it. So a destination charge comes out to 122,260. Here's all the safety ratings on this vehicle. And with a 6.2 liter motor, you're gonna get 14 city, 18 highway, and 16 miles per gallon combined. But here's the whole window sticker if you guys want to pause the video and take a look at it. Alright guys, but that's it for today's video. If you guys are still watching and enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more car content. Also, if you guys want the absolute best deal on any new or used vehicle, check out the links in the description or in the pinned comment. But that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time.